Hey kids, I'm back today to read to you from the Lamb Book. We're on chapter seven and I've got my little helper baby John here, although he might not totally be in the camera frame right now. Chapter seven is called Right and Wrong. When God first made the world, it was a perfect place. But then Adam and Eve disobeyed God. They joined Satan's side. The world changed and became a place of sin and death. The Bible says that death came into the world because of sin. So God promised that one day he would send a savior. He loved Adam and Eve. He didn't want people to be punished for their sin. Anyone who wanted to be saved from the sadness that sin brings could be rescued. God didn't say quite how yet. But the Savior would even be able to save them from the second death. All they needed to do was to believe God, to trust him. Then he would make them perfect so that they could live forever in heaven. This was very good news. But God couldn't ignore people's sin and pretend it had never happened. All wrongs still had to be punished. So God asked them to do something that would help them understand his plan, how he would punish sin without punishing people. God asked people to bring a perfect male lamb. The one bringing the lamb would bring it to an altar, a special place of death. He would put his hand on its head, showing that his sin was being placed on the lamb. It was as if all the sin was being moved from the man onto the lamb. Because the lamb now carried the man's sin, the man had no sin left. It was as if he was perfect. And do you know what? Perfect people can live with a perfect God in his perfect home. But remember how all sin must be punished? Well, because the lamb now had the main sin, it had to die. That's because death is the punishment for sin. The lamb died in the man's place. The lamb was punished instead of the man. But some people didn't believe God's plan. They even told others that God's plan could not be right. The idea of trusting God to be made perfect, that was just too simple. They felt they needed to do something more. So they came up with their own plan. They made their own rules. They said that if they did more good things than bad, then God would be happy with them. If they were kind and did right, then they'd be good enough to live in heaven. But do you know what? These people didn't understand how good they would have to be to live with God in his perfect heaven. So God explained some things. He said that if they stole something, no matter how little, they weren't good enough to live in heaven. God told them that if they loved stuff like money or things more than him, then they weren't perfect. He said that if they ever lost their temper, that was sin. If they ever told a lie, even just a little lie, then they weren't perfect. It was a sin to tell lies. God said that if they talked back to their mother or father, even just once, they were no longer perfect. Only perfect people can live with a perfect God. Altogether, God gave his people of Israel 
10 rules. They were called the 10 commandments. To make sure that no one would forget his commands, the Lord wrote the rules on two flat stones called tablets. Because they were written on stone, no one could add their own oh. rules or rub one out. God's rules never change. The Lord gave the stone tablets to a man by the name of Moses. Moses was to show all the people what God had written. Everyone needed to understand that no matter how hard they tried, they could never obey God's 10 rules perfectly. They could never be good enough to live with God. They were sinners. They couldn't save themselves from the punishment their sin deserved. They needed a savior. They needed a lamb. Here's the questions for chapter 7. When people sin, can God pretend that it never happened? No. All sin must be punished. God asked people to do something that would help them understand how sin would be punished without punishing people. What did he ask them to bring? They were to bring a perfect male lamb. The man bringing the lamb put his hand on its head. What did this show? It showed that God would look at it as if his sin was being placed on the lamb. Because the lamb now carried the man's sin, what had to happen to it, Mia? Because the lamb now carried the man's sin, what had to happen to it? What's the punishment for sin? Death. death. It had to die. The Bible says that death is the punishment for sin. In whose place did the lamb die? Um, God's? The man's the place. The man's place. The place of the man who brought the lamb. That's right. <laughs> Some people didn't believe God's plan. They made their own rules. What did they think they could do to make God happy? They thought that if they tried to be nice, they tried to be kind, maybe if they prayed, maybe if they went to church, maybe if they tried their very, very best to never do anything bad, maybe if they did more good things than bad things. But is anything? of that enough to make someone perfect enough to live in heaven, Mia? No. No. How many things could a person steal and still be perfect? Um, none. No things, right? None. If people love money more than God, what does the Bible call that? Rich. Sin. Sin. That's right. <clears throat> is it okay to tell a lie as long as it is just a little lie? No. No. Does just telling one little lie make a person a sinner? Yes. Yes. If people lose their temper, what does the Bible call it? Sin. Sin. What does the Bible say children are doing when they talk back to their mother or father? Sin. Sin. Other people don't know what we are thinking inside our heads, but how much does God know? Like a lot. A lot? Just Everything. a lot? Everything. That's right. If we try to be very good and never do or think bad things, will we be perfect enough to live in heaven? No way. We need a savior. We need a lamb.